Hi gang, Tom here with National Photography Workshops and Michigan Photo Adventures. So I'd like to go over my three month review on the Vanguard Alta Sky 51D backpack. It's a new series for Vanguard and um, it's kind of an all do it all backpack. The D stands for drone and um, but it holds more than just drones. It'll hold your um, your, your camera gear, it'll work as a day bag, it'll work as a camera bag slash half like day bag. Um, it's a very versatile bag and you can really configure it to pretty much whatever you want to do with it. But I have it set up for a drone right now so I'm going to show you how I have that set up and um, why I like it. So um, we'll start with some of the pockets that I use on it. Um, so we'll start on the side here facing the camera. So it has a water bottle pocket that works really well. Um, and then it has a zippered pocket that actually goes the whole length of the side. It also has a pen and pen holder in there. But I keep my battery pack in there, my Ravi Power for um, my tablet so I can charge my tablet in the field because they, they kind of use a lot of juice when you're using them as a monitor for your drone. So that's there in case I need it for my tablet depending on how much I'm flying. On the other side, it has another little side pocket that I keep my neutral density filters in. Um, I always have those. I use these I use these a lot because I'm flying over water a lot. I'm flying just sunny days. So these are awesome for that. They're the new year filters. They work really well. Um, then another side access pocket that I don't really use because I usually get this from the back so I won't get into that. Then it has a top pocket that is really good for pens and paper, um, business cards, and uh, that just works real well for that. And it's just kind of, it's out of the way, out of sight, out of mind, and I just kind of leave that stuff in there and grab it out of there as I need it. I pretty much use my pockets the same way every time so I don't forget where stuff is, which is really easy to do when you're switching bags all the time. The other pocket on the top is an access area that you can use for cameras, but I use it for my um, controller because I like to leave the controller away from the drone and other gear because I don't, like, don't want to get knocked around and, and beat up. It can get, you know, you can beat these things up and I keep a towel in here to wipe things down because if you're flying and it's mildewy or early morning or you, you might land and tip a little bit and get some grass, I'll wipe the drone down and keep the drone cleaned up. So that's what's in the outside pockets. The back pocket, it has an, a, another pocket in the back that works for, get this out of the way, that works really good for my, my um, hoods, my sun hoods that I make myself out of battery boxes that come with the drone battery boxes, they, they're pretty cool, they work well. And then I keep my tablet in there. And that's all that goes in this back pocket. Um, or, and it works good. I've also thrown a real lightweight jacket in there if I'm gonna be out and it's chilly for evening, so especially if I'm flying out on the lakes, like Lake Michigan or something, it gets chilly at night. So works good for that. And uh, so the main compartment of the drone bag, I'll spin it around so it's easier to see. So where the drone goes, and it's laid out right now for my drone. This is an Autel, which is the, they call it the Phantom Killer. These are out of Seattle. They're a nice little drone, priced really well. I like that drone a lot. I call her Marilyn, if you can't tell. There's a good spot here for props that go right in here. I usually keep four sets. I got two in there right now. Um, I've got spots for my batteries. And this is all Velcro, so I can reconfigure it any way I want. But right now I have this set up for three batteries. Um, it's kind of an X shape, kind of just sets in there. I have another spot here that I leave open. I keep a little tool kit in here with a filter, um, or motor wrench, so I can, if I get my over tightening on my props, there's a Leatherman in there, some other stuff, just miscellaneous things, um, and memory cards. Uh, so that's that. That's pretty much what I keep in my bag. I keep it pretty simple. It's easy to get into. It's my, you know, it's my, my go-to. Grab, just grab. I keep it like this all the time. I grab it. Let's go fly, right? Just make sure my batteries are charged before I go. Um, but yeah, that's that. The cool thing about this bag, though, is the bottom part. So the bottom part is another little area that is set up. You can put, I keep my Fuji mirrorless in here. My X-T2 goes in there really nice. And I've got my 10 to 24 and my 18 to 135 in here. Um, I keep a little extra little pouch of a couple batteries. I've got a flashlight just in case it's getting late. And I always have a first aid kit. You, there's like aspirin in here, some band-aids, and some bug bite stuff. You never know. Um, it's good to have it. I could have used it the other day as a matter of fact. So that's really cool. The other thing you can do with that is I could throw my, take this out, and keep my charger in there, right? Or keep, I keep an inverter in there. So if I'm out flying and I've got, 
I want to fly a little bit longer, I'll plug my charger into the inverter and juice my batteries back up and it works really good. This is a Radio Shack, which you can't get anymore because Radio Shack's defunct, but um, I think it's 150, whatever that is, amp milliamps or whatever they call those things. Um, I'm not correct on that, I should know that. But yeah, so you can put whatever down there you want. Well, this is all Velcro. This can come out and this comes, then this flap pulls down. You can make this all one big compartment if you want. So this bag is very, very versatile for for more than just drones and more than just my little mirrorless system. It holds a lot of stuff. Um, it's got a rain fly, which is built in right here. Rain flies in there, covers it well. It's got lots of extra straps to tighten things up. It even has a front flap on it to allow me to, if I want to unhook it and put stuff, other stuff in here, like a, a bigger coat, or you can even, it's even designed where you can put the drone in there itself. Um, I'm not sure how that works with the camera gimbal on it, but I know that it works for um, other items. I've stuffed other items in there just because I didn't want to fit them in the bag. So that is the Vanguard Alta Sky 51D bag. I've been using it for three months. I really like it. It stays pretty much packed like this. The only thing I do differently is I'll open it, make sure my battery's got full charges, and get fresh batteries, and I go and fly. I just, I just grab and go. And the coolest thing, I, I think the most coolest thing, is the fact that it, um, I got two systems in here. I've got a drone in here, and I've got my mirrorless kit in here. So I've got everything I need in one bag. And it even has a tri tripod holder in here so you can attach the tripod to it. Um, yeah, I can't say enough about this bag. I think Vanguard knocked this one out of the park. And uh, if you want one, you know, go to vanguardworld.com and uh, they can set you up. Um, I know the major camera stores are carrying them now. And uh, yeah, that's that. Um, so I appreciate you checking out my video. Um, check me out on Facebook at National Photography Workshops. I also have a meetup page, National Photography Workshops. And I also am on Twitter and Instagram and my, my handle there is at NPW Photo.